fuck is at the spot. <sighs> it was raining this morning, which is good because I watered everything. My husband cleaned it all. It's nice and clean now. Hey, yeah, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Buck is eating his breakfast. Good boy. And yeah, my husband cleaned it all yesterday. It was nice and clean. See? And he planted the seeds. The seeds are right there. That light color stuff. He scattered them all over. He even scattered them all the way up to over there. Going all the way straight over there. So, Buck, now your home is nice and clean. But why do I see a piece of plastic? My husband cleaned them. I'm telling you, the raccoons or something. I know the, raccoon, the raccoons brought that there. I'm telling you. Because it was all clean here yesterday. And his buckets, I found them so filthy. They were so filthy. Oh, forget it. So the raccoons always bring garbage here. I swear, they're like scavengers. <sighs> now when the weather starts, like, you know, drying up, that, that dirt dries up, I can actually go in there and take that out, that plastic thing out, whatever the hell that is. Oh, Buck, the raccoons always making a mess in your home, you know? I try to keep it clean. Me and Daddy try to keep it clean to make a mess. So I can't wait for the seeds to start growing now. My husband did everything yesterday. He, I didn't even have to do anything in here. My husband did it all, which was so nice of him. He threw the big... Oh, there's a squirrel. Is that my tiny Tim? Is that my tiny Tim? That's a squirrel coming. He threw the big branch that Buck was forging. He threw it there because he was like, you know, there's still leaves on it that he could still eat from it. So I'm going to leave that close by. So I said, that's not bad. I said, just leave it close by. Oh, it's so nice out. Yeah, hi, Tiny Tim. Are you Tiny Tim? I think you are. Is that my Tiny Tim? Yes, it is. His body is little. That's Tiny Tim. Hey, baby. Are you hiding? He's hiding behind there. He's coming. Well, I threw corn. The bread I didn't throw yet. I have seeded bread with me. I don't know if Buck still has the tick on him. I want to look. I just thought about it because Buck had a tick yesterday behind his antler. Hi, birdie. And look, the bird is drinking water because I just put clean water and collecting corn. I know you guys are all showing up. Let me see. Do I see a tick on you? No, I don't. Oh, it probably fell off then, the tick that he had on him yesterday. Because I sprayed him yesterday. He got mad at me, but he walked away. But, you know, it is what it is, Buck. You get mad at me. Mommy still loves you, and we want to keep you protected from all the ticks and mosquitoes. Yeah, I started spraying him yesterday. Like, I sprayed his the top of his head, his neck, his body. I don't see no more ticks on you, right? No. Your head is wet, but it was raining so buck's head is wet his head is all wet his face is wet even his hair on the side is wet you know it's cool when buck's hair gets wet it turns a little wavy i'm like wow you know you would never think that that his hair would be wavy but it turns wavy and then when it dries up it dries up straight it's so cool oh that bird just took a bath there was a bird that just took a bath baby Okay, you want me to throw it on the ground? Okay. All right. So everyone, I'm so excited. My mom and my brother and my niece, my brother's kids, they're on their way. They're driving from another state. They should be by my house in an hour and a half, I say. I had to come out extra early to feed Buck just so, so I could get things done inside the house, get myself dressed and ready for when they arrive. I already dressed the baby. I put him in a cute corduroys, corduroys. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> corduroys. It's like a Mickey Mouse one. Right? You're my big boy. Yeah. Mommy loves you. Oh my God, look. Buck has a summer coat coming on there. See the light hairs? That's coming through. That's the spring summer coat. <laughs> Go check out your buckets, baby. You got fresh water. I know the raccoons made a mess in your bucket, Buck. I don't blame you. That's probably why he didn't drink the water anymore. It's okay. Yeah, go check it out. I had to restring his corn bucket this morning because it was hanging and I know that's from the raccoons because they sit in the bucket it's me I cleaned your bucket baby are you picking up the scent of the raccoons I hope not you don't want it no I wiped them down really good don't eat the seeds whatever you do good boy you want bread I have bread all right I'm going to put you guys right here like this, okay? Hold on.
Let me break up the seeded bread from, for everybody. And I know Buck is gonna have some too. Here, yeah, Buck. I know you like the bread too. So I'm breaking up the bread right now. That's why I had to put you guys down. So I think I could do it while I'm on, you know, recording. So I'm so excited. My mom is going to see my baby for the first time. Because, you know, it's hard for her. You know, my mom doesn't drive on highways and bridges and stuff like that. So she had to wait for my brother. And my brother, he works a lot. You know, he work, he's working all the time. And he only has, like, one day off. So they had to find a good day to come to my house, which I'm so excited because they're gonna, I'm excited to see my mom because I haven't seen my mother in like months. The last time I see my mother was for my baby shower, but I'm excited to also see my brother and my nieces, like the kids. So I'm very excited. Yep. That's why I figured I'd come out early and feed Buck. I'll come out here early and do this. So at least, when they come, I don't have to come back out. I just got to come out after dinner to feed Buck. Today, I'm going to feed him after I finish dinner. So, you know, I could hang out with my mother and my brother because they're probably going to leave a little bit after dinner. So I figure I'll feed Buck after dinner. So Buck, today you got to wait for dinner till 5.30 probably, baby. Okay, 5.36, mommy will be out here. All right, all the birds are starting to come. I don't see red yet, the carnival. Oh, now Buck is walking away. Buck, don't walk away. You were just on the camera. Hold on, guys. I put you down because I'm breaking up the bread. So I want to throw bread everywhere. I want to scatter it everywhere so the birds, the squirrels, everybody can have some. Buck is eating it too right now. I hope he goes into his buckets. I cleaned, I wiped them pretty good because the raccoons, they made a mess in there. I found like mud, dirt. And I know it's the raccoons because the squirrels, when they go in his bucket, they don't make a mess. Or the birds. I know when the birds go in his buckets because sometimes I'll see bird feathers or like I'll see like bird poop in his water. That's how I know they go in. But they, I, I didn't see anything like that. So I know it's the raccoons. And I know it's the raccoons because I see a piece of trash. And my husband cleaned it yesterday. And I'm like so upset. I'm like, really? It's like so nice and clean. You know? And then I find a little piece of trash and I'm like, no, I'm like, I just cleaned it. Okay, birdies, there you go. Oh my God, I have breadcrumbs all over me. Okay, Buck, where you going? All right, he probably thinks I'm gonna spray him or something. That's why he's walking away. He's probably like, let me have you move away before this lady sprays me. Okay, hold on guys, I'm just picking up any type of garbage that's close by here. Okay, hold on one second. All right. Oh, my hands got there. Go eat corn, baby. Is your buckets too close to each other, maybe? That's why? There you go. See, he didn't touch his corn, and I cleaned his water. Oh, if I would have showed you, I got to show you the buckets one day, like in the morning before I clean them, what they look like. You would be like, oh my God. Then you, I could show you the difference like every morning, like when the raccoons go in it or if they don't go in it. Buck is smelling everywhere my husband walked. That's exactly what he's doing right now. Because my husband walked all the way down there. He threw the seeds all where Buck is standing. So Buck is definitely picking up the scent of my husband. I told my husband that Buck was going to do that. Oh, woodpecker. Ah, oh, I missed it. Damn it. A woodpecker just grabbed a piece of bread. Damn it. I could have got that on video. It's all right. I knew it. I told my husband. I said, babe, he's going to walk everywhere you walked. My husband didn't do that path. That path? No. Because that's closer to somebody's house. So my husband... Oh, he's doing peepees right now. And my husband said it that he smelled a really musky smell when he was walking around in here. I said, well, yeah, babe. And he said it was towards, like, that tree. And I told him, that's where Buck does his peepees and cockies. <laughs> that's why. My husband was like, I smell a mus I smelled a musky smell. Like, I could tell. Like, I was smelling him. I said, no, you were smelling the spots where he marks and pees and poops. <laughs> but I'm so excited, guys. Look, it's all clean. And the seeds. I made my husband blow all the branches. I said, take the branches out, too. Make it nice and clean so when the grass grows, nothing is in the way. You see? 
all the way down there. Hey, birdie. This little bird before got a bird bath. Let's see if it's gonna go drink more water. Yeah, cause his feathers look wet. You were the one getting a bird bath before? Let's see if he goes in the water. It's okay, Buck. You're okay, big boy. Daddy did not walk all the way down there, that's for sure. All right, guys, so this video is going to be a little short because I got to get my butt inside. I strained up my house already. I made my bed this morning, had my coffee, washed my face, but I got to go get dressed and get myself done like that. I'm not in PJs because I'm actually in PJs right now. So I'm not in PJs, you know, when they come here, when they get here. I'm like so excited. It was funny because everybody from my family that does come over to my house, they're like, I want to see Buck. I'm like, oh, guys. The only way you guys can see him is if you drive up the driveway and he's standing right here at the spot and he's standing right here. I said, that's the only way you guys will see him. I said, I'm not going to call him and have you got, you know, and have my family members hang out behind me. And I don't want Buck to think I'm tricking him, you know, into being around other people. So I, I told them, I said, Buck is very iffy with meeting new people. I said, it took him a long time to get used to my husband. So it's not that easy for him just to get used to somebody else, you know? This little bird is so cute. It keeps flying back and forth. Hi, little birdie. Red didn't come to corn at all. But I do bread, so everybody has bread, corn. Where's Buck? Oh, there he is. Yeah, so I'm going to get going. I feel so hyper right now because I drank an espresso this morning to wake myself up. So that's why the camera's a little bit everywhere. I'm sorry for that. But right now I'm like on espresso mode <laughs> that I'm just like jumpy. I feel like I could run a marathon. <laughs> So I will be back later this evening for Buck Sunday dinner. I'm sorry guys, yesterday I couldn't make a video. Like I said, I was using my phone as music, which I should have kept it on the charger while I was doing that. And then I was like, you know, doing spring cleaning in my kitchen and straightening up and getting rid of junk and doing things like that. So by the time I had to go feed Buck, I looked at my phone, it was literally like 2%. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I'm not gonna have time to charge this phone to go out and feed him. And then, and it sucks because I really want to make a video to show you guys, like, you know, everything my husband did. But I'm sorry, I didn't get to do it. But that's why I posted a post to keep you guys updated of why there was no video. But I'll definitely be back later this evening. Right after I'm done eating dinner, I'll come and feed Buck. I'll probably be around 5.30, 5.40. Because at 5 o'clock, I'm probably still going to be in the house. And I don't want to leave my mom and my brother, like, you know, just leave them down there, you know, next door. So that's why... I'm gonna hang out until my brother leaves. Once my brother leaves, I'm gonna go feed Buck. So I'll be back sometime later this evening. All right, guys? I hope everyone has a great evening. I mean, a great day. I'm not gonna say evening, because it's not evening. I'm telling you guys, I always get mixed up. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great day. The weather is gonna be beautiful here. It was raining this morning, but it's supposed to be in the 70s and sunny. So it's gonna start getting better, the weather. Thank God. So I will be back later this evening. Everyone have a great day. And me and Buck will be back. Ciao for now.